Hurricane Florence inches closer to the Carolina coastline. A lot of people looking for places for their horses. What better place than the horse city of Aiken, South Carolina? As News Channel 6's Aiken County Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Stock tells us. More than two dozen horses are expected to make their way to Full Gallup Farm today. We have more horses at our farm than we have stalls. Preparing for Florence. We, we hold a lot of water if it comes in a lot. Cindy Weeks is no stranger to hurricanes. We did the last two. Living in Hugey, South Carolina, her concern is the level of the land where she lives. And it is low. She is one of the evacuees with horses at Full Gallup Farm. Very difficult to uh, take care of them properly and make sure um, in case of an emergency, I didn't, you know, vets couldn't get to us. Laura Anderson is one of the owners of Full Gallup Farm. We've taken in donkeys, cows, goats. She and her team have been helping out evacuees since the early 2000s. Anything and anything people can bring. Being a lover of animals, she felt it was her duty to help. I mean, I have horses and animals and things like that, too. I wouldn't want to be stuck somewhere where there's a hurricane coming in, and then all of a sudden you don't have some place to go. And, you know, this is a great facility to be able to have people come with their animals. Providing everything evacuees need. We have hookups on site, too. So if they have a camper or they have a um, uh, one of the horse trailers that has a hookup on it, they can come and hook up, and they can stay here with their animals. The show facility is like a mini city, with people coming all year long, so only a few extra items are needed to help evacuees. During the winter months, everybody stays for like three or four months. They hook up, they stay here, they keep their horses here. Basically, all we've got to do to get ready for everybody is just make sure the stalls are in order, you know, lights are all on, um, and that we've got shavings on site for them to put into the stalls and that, you know, we're ready to go. All the boards and everything and all the stalls and all of the paddocks are ready to go. Having space for... I mean, we can be well over 200. Giving people like Cindy Weeks options. Aiken comes together to help people and horse people especially and I felt very well taken care of. And Aiken is horse country. You may want to know how you can volunteer or donate. I'll have that part of the story coming up on News Channel 6 at 6. In Aiken, South Carolina tonight, Sean Cabbage Stock, WJBF News Channel 6.